Forex, Forex, Forex. Good morning, Forex traders. Let's do some Euro. Let's do some Dollar. Let's do some Japanese Yen. Let's do some Swiss Franc. Let's do some Great British Pound. Whatever you want. You want the peso? We got the peso. Ask questions, get involved. Let's go. Hey, do we have, uh, is this streaming properly? This one says it's streaming, but there's no chat. Make sure you uh, type in the chat. Come on. I think so. This new setup that YouTube has is like redonkulous. All right, so I got to look in two places for chat. I don't see two places for chat. Or I don't see anyone chatting anywhere. Please, come on, guys. Please type in the chat. I'm getting no chat. Oh, there we go. I got one over there. Emil over there, but not over there. And Mike. Okay. And Henry. Okay. So I got chat over here, but I don't have chat over there. All right. All right. Well, hey, at least we got chat. So let me pop this chat. Let me close this other window. Let me pop this. Hang on. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Google. Great pixel phone, by the way. Snot. All right, hang on. There we go. All right. Uh, all right, hang on. Okay, so I got some chat. Good, now I can see you. And now I can see you don't see charts. Hang on. Let me move that over there. Yay. Yay. Hang on. We're almost got it. We got it. We get it. We got it. We know it's good. My rhymes are tight. But it's almost there. Get that in there. Yeah, that'll do, pig. That'll do. All right. What a great, wonderful day. That only took us two minutes. Can, what a wonderful day. I can see how awesome this is going to be. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Comment allez -vous? See what should I, and I'm gonna move this out of the way of that, and that out of the way of this, and everything. But anyways, let me remind you that trading is risky, not appropriate for everyone. Your past performance, good or bad, is not necessarily indicative of future results. But please, 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 stay small, stay humble, focus on the long term, and never risk money you cannot afford to lose. My name is Wayne McDonald. Oh, look, that didn't come on. There we go. My name is Wayne McDonald. Hello, 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 hello. I'm the chief FX market strategist for TradersWay.com. Thank you for, very much for being here. I appreciate you. I like the way you trade. Mm -hmm. Please, uh, if you are new, please subscribe. The reason I say that is when I hit stream, you should be notified and like, hey man, Wayne started the webinar. Would you like to come over? And you click, yeah, sure. Boom, brings you right into the room. So that, that's one major benefit. Also, if you like my charts and you like the spreads and you like the, the swaps that I'm catching, there, there are two things you need to do. One, you go to tradersway.com, open up an account, download MT4. Okay? And then your MT4 will look like... Oh, you don't have that over there anyways. Uh, do I have it? I don't know if I still have it. Yeah! Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. Your MT4 will look like that. Oh, thank you, MetaTrader. Yeah. Meta quotes. So nice. Okay. So, once you do that, now you have the awesome spreads and uh, amazing, amazing, amazing swaps that Trader's Way offers you. Now, if you find that these are charts are not very helpful and if you'd like to use the charts that I coach with every single day, then go to metatraders.com. You can download them. Five bucks, dude. Buy me a coffee. Huh? You got five bucks? Buy me a coffee. Say thank you. Cool. That's it. So thank you very much for being here. 
let's see, cool. So it's weird, the chat on the webinar disappears after a certain amount of time, I guess. Cool, anyways. Yeah, only credit cards, sorry. All right. All right. Oh, hey, let me introduce you to my little friend. Let me go back to this. What? Check this. You ready? You ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, my God. Huh? Huh? Yeah, we got retail sales today. Look what you made me do. I did this for you, baby. Hey, baby. What do you think, huh? I did this for you. You said, ah, the sound's not so good, if only the mic. So I got, like, the expensive mic, but then you're like, eh, it's a little better. But how, what do you think of that? In sooth, I know not why I am so sad. Huh? Huh? You like? Nice. Thank you. I did it for you. Did it for you. I got a better camera because of your feedback. Then I got an improved mic scenario. Because of you, I listen. All right. Huh? So I'll put it there. Yeah, it's cool, right? So uh, to keep it off camera, it'll be about there. So it's probably not perfect, perfect. It's probably not like uh, radio perfect, but it's probably better. Okay. So is it all right? I, I'm talk. The mic's here, and I'm talking there, but it should be all right, huh? <laughs> well, actually, I need a shaving mirror. So, anyways, uh, so you're my sweet baby, and I want I, I want you to be happy. I just want you to know that. Wayne, do swing group buy templates as well? Yes. The at MetaTraders, the basic uh, downloads you get. Uh, you get what? You get things like, let's, let's just, well, I guess let's zoom in on this one. Okay. Do you get this? Yes. That means you, I have to give you the, the indicator. Hang on. Let's do it this way. So I have to give you the indicators and then the moving averages are adjusted automatically in the template. So I give you the indicators right and then i give you the templates and what you get for the five bucks no five dollars right it does like i call it um swing trading weekly swing trading monthly swing trading daily swing trading confluence so this is your swing trading confluence it's the combination of weekly and monthly pivots that i, I use every day but you gotta pay four dollars and ninety-five cents. Oh my God! No, stop it. Yeah. So, anyways. Yeah, Zubar. Yeah, uh, uh, Zubar imagines uh, I'm I'm getting filthy, stinking rich. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna buy a yellow Lamborghini. <clears throat> Because of the five dollar charts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, under the setup, it cost me about three uh, three hundred and fifty dollars a month. So I'm trying to make that back. Anyways. No. Well, titanium would be pretty cool, actually. All right, so, um, okay, let's move on.com. Let's roll. We got to roll. We got retail sales coming out in 15 minutes. Retail sales. Okay. Hang on. The chat's getting covered there. Okay. Wayne, would you consider start doing your analysis for next month? Yeah, if you've already hit your targets, like let's say you were long pound yen. 
Okay. Then, uh, yeah, that's all you have to do, right? That's all you have left. So is, is the sound really significantly better just having the mic here or is Is it really? It is. Oh, cool. All right, well then it's totally worth it. I wonder if I can get it closer without being in camera cuz I don't want I don't want to be like that. So anyways, Cool. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, cool. I'm glad then. Okay. All right, so so I'm asked, uh, can you start trading next month? Yeah, because we're already done this month. So, like, uh, the basic swing for bulls here is pretty straightforward, right? This is the buy zone for the month. You could even see that I wrote, I may consider buying at 130. Do you remember that? And it was falling and falling and falling, and you thought... Right? Remember the feeling here? It fell for four weeks straight. What can we learn from that? All we did was a roll reversal. It got down to around 130. I think it went to 130.50. But you can see we had the reversal pivot. I mean, you got you to gotta stack these ideas together. And then it went up. And look where it stopped. Isn't that what it's supposed to do? If you're a bull, that's what you're thinking, right? Like, there is nothing else that you're really thinking. You might have thought that it would bounce off the central pivot, but you'll notice that you would have tried that the week earlier and it wouldn't have worked out. So what was I teaching you on the way down, guys? Patience, discipline, fortitude, right? Stick with your bias. Remember that whole four weeks that the pound yen came down, of course, all of the other yens too. For those four weeks, I talked about consistency. Do you remember that? I said in Forex, it's not about being right. It's about being consistent. How many people remember that? Say I, I. And don't just listen and nod and stuff. Actually type it. Okay? Don't just lurk. Actually answer the question. It's psychologically and, uh, and emotionally important. Otherwise, you're just watching somebody else be successful on YouTube. Right? My kids love watching other people, other kids play games. Like, why would you want to watch another kid play games? <laughs> why don't you just play the game yourself? Anyways, so like, don't be a lurker, man. Got, get involved, right? So let me ask you again. Did you learn a good lesson? Was I a good coach? Patience, discipline, stick with your plan. The secret to success is consistency, not trying to be right. So now, if these two statements were true, you remember, and it was good, you now own this. Do you understand that? You own this. This is you. This is your lesson. You remember it, and you acknowledge it. This changed your life, or you might be blunt. Remember, I said you have to have at least half of a brain and a work ethic. A serious, ridiculous, redonkulous, nutso case work ethic and half a brain. Okay? Now, if you forget these lessons and stuff, you can revisit them. But if you just totally forget them, well, then maybe you only got three quarters or one quarter of a brain. I don't know. You got this. I know you got this. All right? 
I know you got this, but you have to manifest it. You have to be there. Okay. Now, let's kind of revisit this. It's such a great reversal. Now, I'm not saying you would have predicted the pound yen, but whatever. Okay. It's just a yen trade, which I've also taught you. Right. Anyways, uh, central pivot, reversal zone, look, happened on a Tuesday, counter trend, right? That's right, straight out of the training course, yo. So nap laps is now what? Well, first of all, if you don't remember that nap lap, it doesn't matter what I tell you next. So let me answer facetiously first, nap lap. Uh, uh, now lap, now lap. This is going to happen a hundred and at least a hundred more times in your life. Probably 300 more times in your life. So now lap, if you write this down and memorize it and remember it and apply it to your future, you will be successful. That's what nap, nap lap, okay? That's what it means. That's what's next. That's the now what or the what now. But if you're like, okay, K -K -K -K, that was so last week, Wayne, now get me into another trade. Well, the, the funny thing is, if you miss that, it, you're going to miss the next one too. It doesn't matter. But I've already answered your question when I said, when I answered someone else's question, what do you do next? You plan for next month. Okay. Okay. Plan for next month. So we got uh, about eight and a half minutes. Okay. Now. So what do you think I should do now? Should I should I buy the next dip? No, it's over. Now you should be managing your risk. It will probably go a little higher to maybe, I call this an Arctic turtle. Someone will stretch to hit that, but you shouldn't be adding to your trades here. You shouldn't be just entering. If you didn't do what you were supposed to do, what are you supposed to do as a bull? Buy low. Okay, if you're just getting in the game now and you're still willing to buy it, your mother will be very disappointed in you. You'll have to ask yourself if you really do have patience, if you really do have discipline, and if then ask yourself, do you really plan your trades in advance? I would have some serious questions for myself if now is you're, you're waking up. Why were you not aggressive in, in here? Right? Check this out, dude. Wrote it out and everything. Okay. But that's just pound yen. That's just, just another trade. I don't I don't actually care about pound yen. Okay? But the thing is you really need to you need to really ask yourself if you're actually patient and disciplined. If you actually plan your trades in advance. Okay? Okay. Wayne, should one really buy outside the weekly buy zone or sell outside the weekly zone? Well, Joe, <clears throat> first of all, you can actually do whatever you want. Okay, so I'm trying to teach you <clears throat> rules of engagement that are risk averse. Right? So, of course, you could drop into smaller time frames here and trade all you want. It's just not risk averse. It's not patient. There's no discipline. It's way after the fact. 
but you can you could continue trading this right okay but I don't know I'm I like to look at things from the long-term perspective and maybe I have more of that than most people here because I've been trading longer if I looked at your trading over the course of a year, okay, you do not need, that's not even, uh, you don't, you don't need these pips in here. Like really, you want to start buying it right this close to 140? Like, I just don't understand it. It's not conservative. It's not disciplined. It's not patient. So there, it, but of course you could do it, but I wouldn't teach it. And I think at the end of the year, you're going to lose more than you make. Or if someone was analyzing, like think of it this way, okay? The, the, think of it this way, and it may or may not be true, but try to get the point. If someone was measuring your trading based on risk-adjusted analysis, right? They looked at your performance, and compared your the pips you made with the amount of risk you took. This type of trading, right, would be a ginormous red flag to a professional investor. Okay, they're expensive pips, guys. So again, you might say, "Well, wait, I'm so bullish, I'm so aggressive," but that doesn't understand. That doesn't answer. Like, if you were aggressive. Why didn't you buy this giant dip down here? Yeah, it was a four week dip. Yeah, but remember what I was saying? You're so ridiculously bullish that you're waiting, you're patient, okay? You would have tried buying here and that didn't work, but then you tried buying here and that did work and you got paid and paid and paid and paid, right? And once it's going up, that's when you should be aggressive on smaller time frames and such, okay? But, um, but this is the obvious pattern you're supposed to be trading. So what do you do now that we're approaching the psychological level of 140 and a confluence of weekly R2? Well, I guess it's an M4. Uh, let's do it this way. Let me just try to stretch it in there. Okay. We know by definition. Okay. We know by definition. Again, it's not opinion. <clears throat> by definition, both of this is extremely topish okay and we're currently in a take profit zone on a monthly basis we knew this weeks ago in fact when it was falling and i said get ready to buy it get ready to buy it get ready to buy it i actually typed in get ready to buy it the target when we wrote that was up there up somewhere near 140 we're at 138.50 like i can't even imagine buying it now and, and I think it's it's the lazy trader that says oh well I'm just more aggressive than you well then you should have bought it low because successful traders buy low broke traders buy high but of course it can be done and you can squeeze out some small pips there but I'd rather make 800 pips here than than 100 pips up here okay because it's just not disciplined it you wouldn't train someone to do that like can you imagine writing a book where you say all right the first thing i like to do is wait for the the you know the the pair to move 800 pips and then once it gets to resistance i start buying like it just sounds stupid so how how could you want to do it right yeah fx med seems reasonable you're, there's going to have to be a, a, a retracement, right? So start planning that out. Is anyone going to try to counter trend this? Well, that's pretty aggressive. But do you want to be aggressive selling at hardcore resistance? Or do you want to be aggressive buying at hardcore resistance? Like actually write it out. Hello, my name is Wayne McDonald. I am a currency trader. And I am planning on buying at resistance, hardcore resistance. Or, and then write the second sentence. Hello, my name is Wayne McDonald. I'm a currency trader. 
and I'm planning on selling at Hardcore Resistance. Now that you've wrote it out, which one would you actually choose? Oh, did I miss it? Oh, oh, did it come out? So here's the thing, guys. If, if you're not doing things like having trade plans, then you're just chasing price. It's amateur. So if you can't write it out like that, that means you're not actually planning. You're not actually planning. Right? Isn't that what a plan is? You might be throwing down bullish trades, but you might not actually, right? But then you say, well, I can't, I couldn't possibly write I am planning on buying at hardcore resistance. Well, then why do I look at your trading and you are buying at hardcore resistance? Where's the disconnect? Oh, well, I didn't actually plan anything. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know what you're doing and all that kind of stuff, but I want you to think about it. I want you to think about it. What is it that you're actually doing? Okay. Yeah, Tova, when I say patient and disciplined, if you miss the initial, you miss it. You let it go. If it doesn't pull back, you don't trade it. Okay? And it will never appear in your trade history. Right? Or, let's go back to that. All right? So, no major move on the short, short, short run. Let me go back to that beast. Or, Tova you try to catch it on a five minute chart and scalp your way into your spot, okay? <clears throat> and let's see, boop, boop, boop. That's not the, I guess that is it. All right, so uh, it should take off in here pretty soon. Okay, now you see, it's even on a five minute chart, it's difficult to catch this. Okay, maybe on, so watch this, swing trading daily. That's what you get at MetaTraders, guys. This chart right here. All right. Okay, so I want to look at more than that. So I have to go to indicators. And, oh, it is there, 20. What do I have to do, refresh it? Yeah, okay. Um, so let me go back here. Uh, okay, let me go back. It was around 130.50. So that's, here's the bottom. Okay, here's the bottom. So you're like, I'm thinking about it going up. I'm thinking about it going up. By the way, do you notice the buy zones? This is a buy zone. Oops. Remember, you're already thinking about it going up. Based on longer term analysis, remember it fell for four weeks. We're in the monthly buy zone. Monthly buy zone, okay? And you're looking for reasons to buy, right? Right, Put it, go back into context. Look, that's a buy zone, look. This is a buy zone. Has it broken out yet? No. But all of this is your buy zone and you're already looking. So now remember when I say you need to tiptoe into your swing trades? That's what tiptoeing into your swing trades mean. You do a, buy a, a, a daily swing. Nah, it kind of worked out. Not really. And then, oh, that one did. So you would not have been able to predict that this was going to happen except for for four weeks, you had this nailed price-wise. You knew somewhere in here it was likely to go up based on your swing trade analysis. Okay? So that's not the complicated part. But now you got to tiptoe into it. Like, when? When? You knew the prices. 
Do you remember when I typed in somewhere near 130? So you knew the price. We had price. Price was obvious. Okay? We had price. We did not have time. When? We knew at what price, but when do you buy it? We, we don't know that. Okay? And this is all based on monthly, right? So like what, what day, what, what minute do you buy this? Well, I don't know. But we knew somewhere around 130. Okay, so when you get near that price zone, you start tiptoeing in. What does that mean? Drop into smaller time frames. It doesn't have to be a five minute, it could be a 15 minute. Okay, but this is a daily swing long. This is a daily swing long. And you're now buying near your buy zone or in your buy zone. And your longer term plan says this will probably go up. So you start buying, you see what I mean? You start buying on a 15 minute chart and all of a sudden it starts going up, not based on short term pressures, based on long term pressures. Okay. And now you're stacking your trades. Now, are we able to catch it the next day? Let's see. No. No, not really tradable. Sorry. This, this was too good. Let's, let's look at the next day. Okay. What's the buy zone, yo? Okay, Tova. Okay. There's the buy zone. Okay, where's the new buy zone? Okay, so you got those two trades are now producing. Where's the new buy zone? And that's where we are now. So even Tova, even if you missed the first monthly swing, which gave you two entries on dailies, you could, if, even if you missed that and it jumped 400 pips without you, if you're a patient, you got two more trades after the fact, one at 135 and a half, one at uh, 130, what is this, 136 and a half? Or is it the same price, 135 and a half? 136 and a half. Yeah, so you got one at 135 and a half, one at 136 and a half, and we're now at 39. Right? So potential here, right? That's uh, 400. Maximum potential here. We'll call that 300. So let's say you certainly got, uh, it says 700, but you wouldn't got perfect entries and stuff. But even after the fact late, if all you were doing was day trading, you'd have 600 pips. Okay. Cool. Baby says, hey, Wayne, would you suggest buying at roll reversals at M3? Uh, that sounds more of a, it, you buying at M3 sounds more like a price action play. So it, that's meaningless to me. Okay. M3, as you know, is a sell. And you're saying buy it. So you, it's made a higher, high, higher, low. My concern is maybe you kicked off R1 and it's pulling back. But you might have kicked off M4 and pulling back. And those are two different things. So I can't give you a... Um, a specific, you know, fits all, all scenario answer. So uh, I would rely more on price action than, than another pivot, okay? FX mod, it's always the same, man. Just 
depending on the currency pair, sometimes I just put 50 pips away, but you should always be under the S1. Okay? Okay? So like, uh, let's delete this. Let's go, let's change this green. All right, so I'll just say, uh, let's say you're, you're, you're long here and you're long here, okay? Because this is a front run, actually. You see this one at 136? But let's say you got a couple of there, okay? Great. So where, where's, where's the stop? Below S1 and below S1. Cool. Now you're up here. Where do you move your stop? Okay. And now we're up here. Where do you move your stop? Okay. So this stop is now here. This stop is now here. And once this makes a higher high, we're going to hope that it does uh, stay above that line. And once it makes a higher high, then you can move to that higher low. Easy peasy. Okay. Barry's, uh, he says, I'm up 50% on one trade I did six months ago. I'm up uh, two, uh, 1,500% on a trade I made six months ago. <laughs> That's the, the beauty of compound interest. Okay. Yeah, hey, my pleasure, guys. Okay. Make sure you open an account to Trader's Way. Make sure if you want these chart templates... You go to metatraders.com. Even if you just want to tip me five bucks, just go there and buy the stupid templates, right? But then if you need more detail than all that, consider going to FX Bootcamp and getting some training. Take, take the course. Take the course, yo. All right. There's only so much that can be done on a free webinar. All right. But I think I, think I just gave you more there than most paid courses give you. Uh, 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 really? Let's do some gold, gold, gold. Let's do some gold. Gold still hasn't done anything. Woohoo! But the world wants yield, yo. We're yield hogs. That's why gold is not very interesting. There's no yield. Also, we're in a scenario where as the Fed cuts interest rates, dollar is likely to get strong. I'm not, I don't really have much of a bias on gold. I'd be slightly more bearish. Okay. Okay. Geopolitical risk can jack up gold out of fear, but not out of logic. Out of logic, gold should be bearish. Okay. Which means I wake up in the morning, what do I do? Sell. So, okay. So this is just fundamental bias. It's not my opinion. I don't have opinions when I trade. Okay. So uh, let's let's say I let's say I'm a bear starting what? Here. Okay. Did I try selling here? Yeah, maybe. Did I try selling up there? No. This is a counter trend trade. It looks like it's uh, more of a Wednesday. So I'm not gonna tell you this is a counter trend trade. But if you're a bear, you probably sold that. You don't have to. It's not a hard, fast rule. It's not like you always have to. But that's a sell zone. Well, no, I should take that back. It's not a sell zone. It's a take profit zone for bulls. And it's early in the week, so it sets up counter trend. So it's, it's extremely plausible. And yes, that is in the training course. So that's manager uh, prerogative, if you will. Okay, cool. Uh, sell zone, not likely. Uh, no. Well, this is, uh, no, okay. We'll go over here. Sell zone, yep. And sell zone, yep. So there's, a, let's say there's a giant break even here. Oops, I wanted that to be a different color, but anyways. So break even here. Maybe a counter trend here, maybe. Up to you, manager prerogative. 
Is this a sell? Definitely a sell. Is this a sell? Definitely sell. All based on if you were already a bear and I gave reasons to be a bear based on um, yield analysis, fundamental yield analysis. Now, of course, all this could be wrong and you could say, well, Wayne, I'm more of a bull and with all the geopolitical risk and, and central bank demand for, oh my God, I hear all this nonstop, right? Great. Great, you'd read somewhere that some central bank is stockpiling gold and blah, 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 blah. Great, just just tell me you're a bull and start buying. Right? Right? That's, right? Um, great, so the opposite would be true for a bull. Um, this is a buy zone. Good, you bought it and you made money. Congratulations. Do you buy here? No, do you buy here? Well, this is actually out of position, so you could actually add another one here. But this is where you're supposed to get out, yo. Okay, cool. So now you're out. So no, what do you do again? Do you try buying in here? You might have, and you would have lost money. Too bad, so sad. You would have, is this a buy zone? Yep. Okay, and is this a buy zone? Yep. So here's what you're thinking as a bull. You bought it here because of your genius, you made money. You bought it here and you lost a little bit. Not a big deal, so that's a loss. You bought it here, went up a little while, went notice, right? You would have expected this to hold, by the way. You would have expected that. Why? Weekly M3, monthly M3. Yo, of course that's going to hold. At least that's how you sh should think. And if you get lucky, it goes up and you get paid. Okay? So that didn't work out. Maybe got knocked out of break even. Maybe your stop is still below S1 like it should have been here. But either way, you look at the next week, we're still on M2. And you're thinking, well, it's just consolidating near the, the big support. And you already identified this as the big support. And your previous week was here. So maybe you didn't enter a second one. You're okay with your stop here. Or you entered a second one. And this stop is here. And now this stop is here. This one's risking, I don't know, how many how many dollars is that? This is 50 pips, or $50 is $30 or something. But you're still planning on your longer term plan. The longer term plan. What is your longer term plan on gold if you're a bull? See, I can read your mind. Not because I'm brilliant, because I know how to trade. This is what bulls are thinking. And they were thinking it three weeks ago. They're still thinking it now. And they're hoping, hoping to get that higher high. Then they're going to fire for effect. And then they're going to fire for effect. And they're going to drive it all up. Is that actually going to happen? I don't know what bulls are actually going to do. But I know what they're thinking. Okay? And knowing what they're thinking is a leading indicator, isn't it? Remember what I said yesterday. I'm not trying to teach you a strategy or a technique. I'm trying to teach you how to understand the way the market works. I'm teaching you the why. And of course, I'm showing you lots of how. How is just technical analysis, right? It's just technical analysis. Okay. Oh, where are you from, Bitcoin? The answer is uh, Jamaica. You're making me crazy. Uh, cool. Uh, I don't know. Talk to support. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been around. I've been around this world. One of the places I've been to is the Caribbean, and the Caribbean, to me, is like the absolute perfect place in the world to be a, a some sort of financial asset trader. I don't care if you're a Bitcoin trader, currency trader, uh, futures trader, index trader, uh, online stock trader, uh, options trader, whatever. It's all good to me. Okay. And, you know, so I'm cruising around the Caribbean. I'm thinking tourism's destroying everything. And I hate tourism. I hate tourists and I hate tourism. And I think all 
tourists should be banned from going to the Caribbean. Right? I think the Caribbean would be better off if people just went back to fishing for their meals instead of delivering pizza to fat tourists from other countries, right? And then I think, well, there needs to be an industry that replaces tourism. And that's trying to get like, that's trying to like get somebody off crack cocaine, cleaning them up, and giving them a good job somewhere. It's a big stretch to get someone off crack cocaine and then get them a nice professional job. So like, how do you kill tourism, protect the environment, protect the culture of the good people of the Caribbean, and then replace it with something, right, that people can live on. And I'm like, Forex! Forex! There should be a giant school in the Caribbean that just teaches people how to trade financial assets. So instead of uh, selling tourists margaritas in giant plastic cups that are fluorescent orange, fluorescent green, fluorescent pink, Right? People in the Caribbean should be like trading gold against some guy in Indonesia and making money. And then spending time on the beach, relax, man. Right? And there, there's no degradation of the culture and of the beautiful environment of, of, of the Caribbean, right? I'm, I'm walking around like, I love the Caribbean and I love the Caribbean people. And I love the Caribbean culture. And I love the Caribbean food. But that guy should go back to Holland, right? That guy should go back to England. That guy should go back to America. That guy, like, get rid of all these people, right? So anyways, honestly, that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting on the beach like, we got to get rid of the tourism in the Caribbean. And it truly is like crack cocaine. We got to get rid of cruise ships. Get rid of them. Get rid of them all. But you got to replace it with something, right? But tourism is such the wrong thing. But what else are you going to do when you live in Jamaica? There's not enough Blue Mountain coffee to go around, right? So anyways, uh, there you go, Bitcoin. Bitcoin miners, hash rate. So uh, I forgot what your question is, man, but um, yeah. Peace on earth to uh, peace, peace on Jamaica. I mean, you're in St. Lucia? Yeah. I want to do a Caribbean tour. Right. One of my goals in life is to, I want to dig up all the garbage dumps in the Caribbean and remove them. And I'd like to do it for free. If you think about it, the Caribbean, like an island in the Caribbean doesn't have a lot of land. But for hundreds of years, they've had to dedicate some of it to the garbage dump. And what is it full of now? Plastic. What, from who? The good people of the Caribbean? No, from all the fat tourists from all over the world. Gorging themselves. Right? Throwing water bottles everywhere. Throwing empty margarita cups everywhere, throwing straws everywhere, plastic straws. I want to dig all that up and remove it and leave the Caribbean clean. I want to pull plastic out of the waters. I want to pull it out of the land and just remove it and, and leave the Caribbean pristine. When I die, I'd like the Nobel Prize for, I don't know, something. Okay, so I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to spend my fortunes on. I'm going to clean the Caribbean. And... Don't think I haven't already made phone calls. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Remember, I've already met with the, the Central Bank of the Eastern Caribbean. The ECCB. What was I doing there? Met with some of the government officials. Been in the government. Hmm. What was I doing? All right. So anyways, let's move on dot com. As you can probably tell, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep again. I know just two days ago, I got 14 hours of sleep. All right. Let's move off this. What do you want to do? Yens? 
So if you guys know the right people in the Caribbean for me to be meeting with, we should talk. Core was bad. I didn't see a lot of movement on the dollar, so dollar tells me everything. <clears throat> So I'm still sitting on Kiwi. I'd like it to stay above the 67, uh, well, really 68. So um, this is going to be a problem. So I'm deciding what I should be doing here. See? So you can see I wrote, I drew this. Friday, I think, didn't I? Because we hadn't even done this yet. I drew this Friday. You see how it spiked up and then came down? So that's when I drew this. Okay. If you're a risk-off trader, there's your M3. There's your target. Very easy. Very, very, very easy. Uh, and what happens is we travel from the M3 to the M2, back to the central. And, and as far as I'm concerned, like that... And, forever until it breaks, okay? Which really sucks because I get knocked out of break even. But, you know, I, co I collected yield for like, collected 13 cents for over six days, right? Yeah, Gary, look at that. St. Lucia's looking for new landfill sites, yeah. What I want to do is remove all the garbage, actually harvest it, harvest the garbage. And you can use the, the same one that you've been using in St. Lucia for uh, 500 years. And imagine the amazing things I might find digging to the bottom of a, uh, of a landfill that's been there for hundreds and hundreds of years. Just imagine the stuff at the bottom that hasn't... Um, uh, rotted. Just be amazing what we'll find, right? So I'll have to bring in Harvard. We'll study, right? We'll study the, uh, not just the harvesting process and the, the ecological, the positive ecological impacts, but then we'll bring in cultural experts and, and scientists and, and stuff and just, we'll just, it'd be like a gold mine. <laughs> yeah, and diseases. Yeah, so we'll have to bring those guys too, but oh man, Harvard scientists would just be salivating to get into there. But my, uh, uh, one of my professors used to, to do such humanitarian uh, and environmental projects. She's the lead the leading expert, I think globally, she works with the World Bank and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so she was my professor on ecotourism. So I know the right people if to get the, uh, the IMF and the World Bank involved, as well as probably the United Nations and UNESCO. So I know the right people. All right. Uh, so let's see, hoping this goes up, hope it's not a strategy, but Maybe I should pray. This is a, a get out position, which drags this down. Because if this ain't going up, if this is coming down, this is likely to go down. And they're all likely to go down because they're correlated, right? Uh, I got to keep an eye on Kitty Cat. Maybe this is topish. I don't really know. The, on the one hour, this 55 says double top and drop. So that would actually create a triple top. What does it say on the four hour? Uh, it, on the four hour, it's waiting for the 21. So I got to be patient. It gives me enough hope uh, to be patient. So um, what I'm looking at here is down to the future 21. And then up.
Okay. One of the things in, um, in the complete toolkit at MetaTraders, the, up, the upgraded version, right? There's the regular toolkit and the complete one. One of the things I've added is the zero lag moving average. Okay. Oh, I can't see it. Hang on. Come on, Wayne. Uh, indicators. Should have done this. Uh, I'm gonna have to make it fat and compare it. Okay. Okay, so one of the challenges in currency trading, well, and that's that's not, I didn't get this right. I'll have to talk about it later. What this is trying to tell you, where's the input? Period 21, shift, uh, I don't think I have this right. Hang on. Nah, screwed that up. Anyways, I'll have to fix it up. Uh, is What I'm trying to show you is um, what we're trying to guess now is where the future, where the 21 EMA will be in the future. That's one of the challenges of being a currency trader is we're not trading the 21 now, we're trading it later. And there's an indicator that I've uh, put in that uh, complete toolkit that helps you see the future 21 in real time because there's no lag to it. But anyways, so the way I kind of use, I combine it with price action. So I go like this. So on the four hour, it'd be kind of late, but maybe the next, the next, oops, the next move up is probably the one, if I'm planning to buy the four hour 21, I'm going to probably buy the next cycle. Okay. So as close to 32 as possible, but like we're game on now, right? So between 32 and 3180. Okay. Okay. You notice here. So we're, so in the next 15 to 30 pips, right? So now I got to drop in this into the sink goal. I don't know how to say 15. Uh, so maybe the next 5A cross in the 15 long in anticipation of buying off of the future, not current, but future um, four hour 21. Whoop. Make sense? Hope so. All right. I've gone too long today. It's 9 a.m. Thank you very much for being on my team. Thank you very much for being a client of Trader's Way. So, all the resources available to you. Traderswaycom Forex.today YouTube channel. Metatraders.com for charts. FX Bootcamp for a video training. So much available to you. You can buy my book on Amazon. Okay? And trust me, if you buy my book, I make five bucks. You're not, make, I'm not pitching you my book to get filthy, stinking rich. Right? I spent $50,000 on the launch party. So I don't think I've actually, well, I've probably broken even now. All right. I've probably broken even. So, I spent 50,000, I'm not joking, I spent $50,000 on the launch party. So it hasn't impacted me one way or the other. So you're not making me filthy, stinking rich. I'm paying five bucks for my charts template. That's not going to make me filthy, stinking rich. So there's nothing in it for me to like pimp myself and whore myself. So those are resources up there um, that I've made available to you to help you. It costs me... 350 maybe $400 a month to offer that to you. That's why there's five bucks. Plus, if you're not willing to pay five bucks, what can I do? Can't help you. 
right? So anyways, anything else? I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's a busy day. Tomorrow's a busy day. Swing trading. The swing trading group meets tomorrow. So we got our free webinar tomorrow. Then the swing trading group meets. And then uh, Friday, just another Friday, right? Very cool. So we, we got a good week to go. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay, peace on earth. Oh, and by the way, I hope you I hope you appreciate it. Huh? Hello. So, peace on earth. May the pips be with you. May your profits be above average. I will see you tomorrow. Cheers.